Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 8, Secretive Behavior. Unit 3, Deception, Detection. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to understand why people lie, explain why it's so difficult to identify liars, and describe the common behaviors of liars. Paragraph 1. Is he lying? You'll probably never know. Although people have been communicating with one another for tens of thousands of years, more than 30 years of psychological research has found that most people are very poor lie detectors. Paragraph 2. In the only worldwide study of its kind, scientists asked more than 2,000 people from nearly 60 countries a question. How can you tell when people are lying? From Botswana to Belgium, the number one answer was the same. Liars look away from the person they're lying to. This is the most prevalent stereotype about deception in the world, says Charles Bond of Texas Christian University in Fort Worth. Mr. Bond led the research project. And yet looking away, like other commonly held stereotypes about liars, isn't connected with lying at all. Studies have shown liars don't shift around or touch their noses or clear their throats any more than truth tellers do. Paragraph 3. For decades, psychologists have done laboratory experiments in an attempt to describe differences between the behavior of liars and people telling the truth. One thing is certain. There is no unique obvious signal for a fib. Common Behaviors. Paragraph 4. By studying large groups of participants, researchers have identified certain general behaviors that liars are more likely to have than people who are telling the truth. Fibbers tend to move their arms, hands, and fingers less, and blink less than people telling the truth do. Liars' voices can become more tense or high. Liars may move less and fill their speech with pauses because they are trying too hard to remember what they've already said and to keep their stories consistent. People shading the truth tend to make fewer speech errors than truth-tellers do. They rarely backtrack to fill in forgotten or incorrect details. Their stories are too good to be true, says Bella DiPaolo of the University of California, Santa Barbara, who has written several reviews in the field of deception research. Paragraph 5. Liars may also feel fear and guilt or excitement at fooling people. Such emotions can trigger a change in the facial expression so short that most observers never notice. Paul Ekman, a retired psychologist from the University of California, San Francisco, calls these split-second changes micro-expressions. He says these emotional clues, such as a smile, a grimace, or a wince, are as important as gestures, voice, and speech patterns in uncovering deceitfulness. Paragraph 6. But not all liars show these signals. One can't conclude people are lying because they don't move their arms or pause while telling stories. These could be natural behaviors for them, not signs of lying. They are statistically reliable indicators of deception, says Timothy Levine of Michigan State University in East Lansing. But that doesn't mean they're helpful in one-on-one -on -one encounters. Paragraph 7. People are just not very good at spotting deception signals. On average, over hundreds of laboratory studies, participants distinguish correctly between truths and lies, only about 55% of the time. This success rate holds for groups as diverse as students and police officers. Human accuracy is really just barely better than chance, says DePaulo. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, lie detectors. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D, machine or people who can tell if someone's lying. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word lie detectors. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? In this picture, I see a man, and there is a machine on him to tell whether he's lying or telling the truth. And there is what lie detectors for to tell if someone is lying or not. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words lie detectors. I'll read part of the sentence for you. More than 30 years of psychological research has found that most people are very poor lie detectors. Number two, stereotypes. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E, a fixed idea of what a particular type of person or thing is like. 
Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word stereotypes. Mohammed, could you please talk about this? In this picture, I see this man, and it, he reminds me of cowboy. But it's not always like that. And there's what stereotype, a fixed idea a particular thing or person is like. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word stereotype. I'll read part of the sentence for you. This is the most prevalent stereotype about deception in the world. Number three, grimace. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. A facial expression showing pain, disgust, or contempt. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word grimace. Mohammed, could you please talk about this? This guy in this picture is showing an anger, facial expression, grimace, showing pain, disgust, or contempt. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word grimace. I'll read part of the sentence for you. He says these emotional clues such as a smile, a grimace, or a wince are as important as gestures. Number four, wince. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. A small sudden movement expressing unpleasantness. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word wince. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? This man, he's moving his hand suddenly to his head to his head and it's expressing unpleasantness wince now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word wince i'll read part of the sentence for you he says these emotional clues such as a smile a grimace or a wince are as important as gestures number five indicators mohammed please give us the correct meaning on the right a signs or pieces of evidence now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word indicators. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? Well, I see signs or pieces of evidence. Something going up or something going down. Indicators. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word indicators. I'll read part of the sentence for you. They are statistically reliable indicators of deception. Choose the best answer. Question number one. What has 30 years of psychological research shown about lie detection? C. People are not very good at detecting a liar. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing this answer. Part of the sentence reads, More than 30 years of psychological research has found that most people are very poor lie detectors. Question number two. One stereotype about liars held by people all around the world is that B. A liar looks away. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph which tells us that one stereotype about liars is that a liar looks away. Paragraph 2. Towards the middle, it reads, From Botswana to Belgium, the number one answer was the same. Liars look away from the person they are lying to. Now, Mohammed. Let's have a discussion. Please tell us some of the things that you have learned. Well, I learned in this unit that people lie for various reasons that, no, that one cannot be sure of. There really isn't any difference between a liar and someone who's telling the truth. But liars have some general behaviors, like tend to move their arms, hands, fingers less. Lastly, they also blink less than people who are telling the truth do.